Exposure levels are too high, they're going to have to act to, to bring them down. That's what they're doing. Mm. Well, we'll watch with interest. Welcome back. Now it's on to you, beauty, praise or a bollocking, the opposite. What do you have this week, Ellen? I've got a you beauty for the Commerce Commission for coming out this week and penalising banks for charging too much in terms of fees for breaking people repaying their mortgages early. Mm -hmm. um, it's about time it happened. It's exorbitant what the banks are doing. Surely in this economy when everyone's trying to pay down debt, people should be rewarded for doing that. I know the banks have had to borrow the money to lend to them, so that's fair enough, but banks need to reduce their debt exposure levels. People, people personally need to pay down their debt, so it should be a good situation. Mm. And but, good on the Commerce Commission for... Uh, helping it along its way. Yes, OK, it's taken uh, some time to come though, hasn't it, in terms of some of the uh, comment that's been around for quite some time? It has been a couple of years where there's charged exorbitant fees for mortgage breaking and things like that. I'd, I don't see how you can justify penalising people for trying to reduce debt levels. Mm -hmm. And with the increased Fonterra payout um, that people are expecting, that should mostly go into retiring debt. Mm -hmm. So it just would give the banks more opportunity to charge these fees and it's good that they're not going to be able to. Good. What do you think, Ian? There'll be some advantage here for farmers, won't there? I would agree with those comments entirely. You mm -hmm. know, we're, we're facing a debt mountain. The, the debt levels in the sector are higher than they've ever been before. Mm -hmm. And if farmers are prepared to try and bring those debts down, that's got to be a benefit to the banks and to the whole economy to get things back into balance. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that and people don't take those actions, we've still got the potential of a subprime crisis out there in the farming world. So we need to get debt down. Mm, mm. Are things really that serious in terms of those those levels uh, when you you talk about uh, uh, that side of of debt and and comparing it with some subprime crisis? I, I think they are at that sort of extent. If you look at some of the figures that have come out of the Reserve Bank mm. in their capital ad adequacy reports, then they they are suggesting that the levels of debt in the farming sector are are way out of kilter with land values. And you look at the level of debt to um, price per milk solids, mm. which was his, you know historical norms ten years ago to where they are now, mm -hmm. we, we've seen almost tenfold increases in those ratios, which just suggests that the the, the, the borrowing levels are not sustainable. Mm. But uh, farmers would absolutely say, wouldn't they, Ellen, that uh, the banks almost begged us to take the money in some instances? Yeah, because they needed to get the loans out there and things. That said, you've got to take some responsibility. If you know, if people, you should know what level you're com what level of debt you're comfortable with and what you can comfortably afford to pay back, and mm -hmm. you should have a contingency for if your circumstances change. So, I think there's there's culpability on both sides. Right. And uh, from here on, we might be more likely to see some more conservative forward planning by way of uh, uh, debt levels and uh, the way that uh, banks are. Uh, loaning to, you to farmers. You so from both sides and I think it's going to be a lot more public and um, official scrutiny on it so they will have to be a bit more careful but mm. I think it's really good that the Commerce Commission has come out and said this clearly and strongly to banks and those that were pinged in this round as well as all the other banks will be taking notice and I think it's great. Good. Now Ian I believe you uh, have a beauty uh, and that comes from the uh, Dairy NZ Farmers Forum down in Hamilton last week. Yeah well reading the comments that David Carter made during that conference and also ones he made a week earlier at the Irrigation New Zealand conference we're absolutely delighted to see David aligning with the importance of water and really prioritising that as an issue for the government. Mm -hmm. As we talked about earlier in the programme we see water as the liquid gold for New Zealand. It's the key asset that we've got and the key com competitive mm -hmm. benefit we have over so many of our competitive countries. So ensuring that water gets used properly and making the investment and driving that investment is critical and the government has a real role to play in that. So mm -hmm. good on you David. So it's sending all the right signals Alan in mm. terms of uh, looking forward and uh, some of the uh, policy uh, hurdles that uh, have to be jumped over, uh, some of those are going to prove to be a bit of a, a strain and a, an ask aren't they? Yeah they are. Um, which is no reason not to tackle them, no. as you know, as Ian said, it's, it's vital, we have to sort this out. So mm -hmm. it's good that more people are talking about it, and the more agreement we can get on the fact that we need to address these issues, mm -hmm. then we can start the debate on the hurdles and what's best and who needs to compromise and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But we've got to start talking. Right. Are we likely to see faster progress from here, Ian, given this very high level uh, indication by David Carter that this is very much on his, his radar? Um, I hope so and I know there's a lot of schemes that are now starting to get consents coming through and are ready to go. So mm. funding is a big issue for them and understanding how they're going to generate funding 
is something that I, I think the government needs to do some work on. Mm -hmm. We at KPMG are really proud that we're going to be working with Irrigation New Zealand in helping the governance of the sector mm -hmm. and providing some training around that. So we, we think there's great opportunities in this sector and it really is a key sector that needs to get moving for the future of New Zealand. Well, uh, to make it a, a hat trick, I also have a you beauty this week, and that is for the uh, function that uh, you were talking about uh, previously, the Dairy NZ Farmers Forum in Hamilton. 850 farmers coming along to hear it from the horse's mouth, from scientists. That was really good to see, and they were in such a positive frame of mind. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Thanks to my guests, KPMG Agribusiness Lead Partner Ian Proudfoot and National Business Review News Editor Ellen Reid. And thanks to you for watching. Please email your comments to country99tv.co.nz, check out my blog there, and we'll see you next week.